Yo guys, it's Footmaster here. Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be discussing the team of the year release dates, how the players will be released into FIFA Ultimate Team. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as always. I know this is quite last minute, I should have done this earlier, but there hasn't been any confirmation by leakers so I decided to do this the day before the team of the year starts. So make sure you're putting these dates down in your calendar. So, as you can see, by this tweet here, big up this guy here for this, but he has basically said this is probably going to be true this year. If these are based on last year's dates, which I'm assuming they are because no leakers confirmed or denied this, Friday the 20th, which is tomorrow, attackers will be in packs. So that will be, that will be Messi, Benzema and Mbappe will all be in packs on Friday. Sunday the 22nd midfielders will be in packs so the attackers will go out of packs and De Bruyne, Modric and Bellingham will go into packs replacing them. Then on Tuesday so two days later defenders and the goalie will go into packs and the midfielders will go out. So instead of the midfield it will be Hakimi, Militao, Van Dijk, Hernandez and Courtois in packs. And then on Thursday the full team of the year will be in packs so it will not be on Friday. That will be when the 12th man comes out and honourable mentions as well. So I recommend saving your packs for the full team of the year on Thursday. So until Thursday the 26th, that's the only time, that's the earliest time all of these players are going to be in packs. Until then, it's just going to be separate in their different position groups. So I'd save it till Thursday personally because then you have a higher chance of packing all the team of the year instead of just one group that lowers the odds. But also Friday, you'll be getting the 12th man added, which is pretty sick. As you can see, this is my favourite team of the year, FIFA 19, when the 99s win. And the cards were just insane. I love the card design and the dynamics. But the 12th man, which was Neymar this year, gets added in early, uh, later. sorry. And as you can see here, he doesn't get added till the week after. So a whole week. And honourable mentions as well, which are just boosted cards, basically. I didn't get a picture up stupidly, but I'll make a prediction video and an explanation nearer the time, some time this week, predicting the honourable mentions. So there'll be players that have been nominated in the list, but have been left out. Now, there are a lot of players who can be getting this honourable mentions card this year, because I think EA messed up the team of the year choice a bit this year. I'm not going to lie. So, you go to... This is going to be the 12th man vote, by the way. It has been leaked by all the leakers out there. It's going to be a choice between Valverde, Haaland... And Cancelo. So no Neymar team of the year this year, which I think is a bit of a shame. I don't really understand how, but EA are going to do EA. So yeah, we're going to be getting a player pick sooner rather than later. And it's going to be a choice out of these three. And whoever gets mowed the most according, the most according to EA will be added into packs as a team of the year. Like Neymar was, and he'll be in packs with the full team of the year as well. So it will be 12 people instead of 11. So... That is going to be the end of the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out all my social medias down below. Hit the bell so you never miss an upload. And yeah, comment any questions or thoughts to do with this video down below. It's been Footmaster and I'm out. Peace.